Welcome to Adobe Animate. In this series of four exercises, we are going to explore some common tools in the program. First, head over to the Line tool and the Properties panel. You can adjust the size of the line as well as the style of the line. Over here, we're going to ignore Fill Color and focus on Stroke Color and choose Black. We're going to divide our stage into four quadrants. In the first exercise, let's label this quadrant number one. Go ahead and zoom in so you're just focused on this area. Choose the shape icon and hold down to see all the different types of shapes that you can choose. You can change the fill color of your shape and the stroke color of the shape. Go ahead and draw a circle. Now head back to the shape icon and choose the rectangle primitive and this will allow you to create a shape with vector points. You can easily drag and adjust this from a oval to a rectangle. For our third shape, you're gonna choose the regular rectangle and just draw a square or rectangle here in your space. Leave a little more room for a fourth shape. By the way, you can choose your paint bucket and you can change the fill color of your shapes at any point. And you can also change the line color. For our fourth shape, we're actually gonna choose a transparent fill. Keep the stroke color at black and draw a regular size circle. You can actually drag and readjust these shapes on the page if you need to organize them around a little bit. Now we're going to select our line tool and we're going to draw a line through our shape to break it into four equal quadrants. Be careful that your lines are not touching any other lines or shapes because you are creating vector points that you can click and delete and you don't want to accidentally delete your outline or another shape. Now you can use your bucket tool to fill in each area of the quadrant. You can even use your eyedropper to select existing colors on your page. So go ahead and fill in those four different areas with four different colors. We can use the pointer tool here to actually begin selecting the lines and we can delete them, double click to delete the entire outline. Now, when we hold the cursor and we see the curve signal, we can curve an image. We can also move or adjust images. Now, if we see the corner icon, we can adjust just the corners versus the curve. This principle also works when no lines are present, such as in our circle here with our four quadrants. I can click and drag the point, as well as adjust the curves on the lines. Because we are working with vector-based shapes and forms, it is easy to adjust and shape and reform any of the objects we choose to work with. We can even select a fill area of a shape and we can recolor and choose different colors by dragging our cursor over the color palette. So for this first exercise, have some fun and create about four different shapes that you modify, including changing the fill. As we go through this series, I hope you learn how to use the tools in Adobe Animate and find all the amazing ways you can create with this amazing program.